You know, there's one aspect of beekeeping I've never really thought much about, and that is when is it time to quit beekeeping or stop having bees? I think, uh, you know, most of us think, well, well, I just have bees so the day I die. It's not a question. So I'm going to look at some bees today for someone who had to quit for age and health related issues. And you know, there's a myriad of other reasons where you'd have to quit job relocation, uh, injury, divorce, what, I don't know. I don't know. You know, there's a million things. This one today is uh, a legitimate, could not uh, do the hobby anymore. So we're gonna go see what's left of his boxes, clean them up or uh, whatever. I don't know, we'll see, let's go. Abandoned house, abandoned hives. Might as well call this place Atlantis or something. Forgotten city. Gotta pick up a hive that's supposed to be overrun with beetles. It's not that one. Could be that one. But it's definitely that one. Good grief, that's nasty. That's a dead hive. And that's a dying hive. That's what happens when you don't take care of your stuff. Some of them thrive, some of them die. I really don't even want to open this nasty thing. I don't want to touch it. Check that out. You ever seen that? That is a show enough. Hive beetle infestation. Worst one I've ever seen. This thing's gone. One thing you can do with it is uh, wash all the frames in soapy water, set them out, let the weather hit them for a little while, you know, or freeze them and then set them out in the weather. But yeah, pure nastiness, uninhabitable by bees, and unfit for use for any other reason other than to breed hive beetles and cause more destruction. The honey's no good as well, if you're wondering. The owner of these got to where he physically couldn't take care of them anymore, and they just got out of hand. Nobody's fault. We're gonna see what we can clean up of them. There's still half a dozen I'm trying to make it through here without cutting my tires. I just had to buy a tire today, so I'm trying to not cut it uh, my brand new tire on some trash we're gonna see what we can do to fix these hives up and the, the ones that are back there that are doing good are doing real good so these couple that are tore up with beetles we'll flush them out not putting them back in there because nobody's over here taking care of this stuff and then we'll see what we can do with the rest of them as far as getting them cleaned up stacked out whatever they need 40. The heck with that. We got woodware to save. <laughs> it's my hippie brother. <laughs> cool, dude. Catch a yeah, wave. Good beetles all in my socks. Making a video of unkept hives. Mmm. Yeah. Alright, so uh yeah. you want some rubber gloves? This hive went queenless. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Pretty sure about that. He 
You don't need rubber gloves. He's splashing it all over my legs. <laughs> <laughs> I need some rain pants. The mom and daddy beetles. <laughs> Nothing but beetle larva and beetle mud, beetle poo, and ruined honey. The only bee in the hive. It don't get much worse than that. Soup. Gone soup. They're a little more active now than they were a minute ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to survive. I'm going upside of it. Okay, so how 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 high up in the tree is it? Does somebody get to it without it? Looks like the east of the Well, can you Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Take two. <laughs> Still moving. Mm. About to turn some of that back into ground beef. Morning. Welcome back to the Huh? Huh? Channel. <laughs> Where how you be keeping us away alive. You thought I forgot, didn't you? It's the morning after. Looks like somebody threw a bunch of rice out on the driveway. All right, a little extra info on that if you ever have to do a cleanup like that. Soapy water doesn't kill them immediately. It takes a little time. Pure water takes forever. They're like little free divers. They can stay down for a long time. I discovered that several years back when I tried to drown a bunch in a mud hole. And I walked by probably 15 minutes later and they were still squirming around in the bottom of the mud hole underwater. So they, uh, they don't drown easy. Freezer is the best method, but you don't want to put a pile of nastiness like that in your freezer, so you got to wash it off anyway before you put it in. And you don't want to wash all those larvae into your yard where they can burrow and come back out as uh, adult beetles and continue this process of eradicating <laughs> your bees. So all that equipment went in the freezer, and we'll go back on a box, a healthy box, to get cleaned up once it comes out of the freezer it'll be clean we've washed out the soapy water out of it and everything so um, the equipment will be clean it just needs needs tending to and whatever the bees don't like they will get rid of i promise the equipment is saved might be down a hive but your equipment's still good and and you can rock on <laughs> swim 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 hey buddy run away run away Dogs had him cornered, so he's getting rescued. He's not hurt though. <laughs> he's a big one. Mm-hmm. He's pretty.